never thought I would witness, you know, or even be in, be in something like this. I say this, this something like you will see on TV or something. You, you want to think it'll happen to you, you'll actually be in. Mildred Joyner never dreamed of starting over until a tornado in the middle of the night forced her to. It woke me up, so I opened my eyes up and the whole house was dog and I, hear, I was hearing like a train noise. So I got, I, I got up because I was scared. And I walked towards my mama's room and before I made it to, uh, to her room, I remember I heard a cracking noise, like a cracking noise. I guess the house was collapsing then. And that's the last thing I remember. The EF4 tornado that hit Rolling Fork on the evening of March 24th caused monumental damage to all kinds of structures, from homes to churches to businesses. But it hit people in mobile or so-called manufactured homes the hardest. Using government weather data, the Associated Press found since 1996, tornadoes have killed 815 people in manufactured homes. That's 53% of all the people killed in their homes during a tornado. If there's a tornado that tracks for you know, a good portion, it's likely to hit something in the south. And that something is usually you know, a home that isn't particularly well built. Weather Service meteorologist John Moore, like many weather experts, says no one should stay in a mobile home when there's a threat of tornadoes. Why? He points to what happened to Ida Cartledge in the Rolling Fork storm. Next thing you knew, the wind was trying to pick up the trailer home. It picked it up one time, set it down, picked up, picked it up again, set it down. The third time it actually picked it up and put it in the air. And next thing, next thing we knew, when it picked it up the third time, we were in the air, the next thing I remember, we were on the ground. U.S. Census figures show less than 6% of us live in manufactured homes, but you'll find more of them in the South, where Moore says we're also seeing more tornadoes. In fact, an industry website for manufactured housing reports Mississippi is the only U.S. state where manufactured homes make up more than 50% of total home sales. The subject of weather and mobile homes holds particular interest to meteorologists Moore. Uh, always and you know, wanted to protect my mother from storms. She was completely freaked out about storms and we lived in a mobile home uh, growing up uh, when I was younger. So anytime there was a threat of severe weather or the weather get bad, our first, uh, the first thing we did was get out of that mobile home and go into a neighbor's home, more substantial built structure, or go uh, stay at our grandmother's house for that evening or that night or however uh, long we needed to to escape the bad weather. So just helping my mom prepare and you know tracking storms really led me to want to pursue a uh, career field in meteorology. The Rolling Fork tornado left Cartledge with a crushed pelvis, as she describes feeling her bones move as she walked to help after the storm. Many people here live temporarily in motel rooms, trying to start over, many hoping to start over in a more conventional home. I ain't do what, whatever. Somebody would get there. I don't think we supposed to be made it through, but we did. I'm talking about we didn't have time to do nothing. They still made it through, so. Dennis Turner, The Delta News.